So today we're going to be uh, doing an on-page audit and an off-page audit of the best alkalinewatermachines.com and the keywords that uh, the site is trying to rank for are best alkaline water, benefits of alkaline water, uh, water analyzer reviews and where can I buy alkaline water. So it looks like it, this is uh, more or less an information site and he's uh, just uh, put some uh, affiliate links. So this is an Amazon affiliate site. And they're trying to rank by getting traffic in, uh, by, by getting uh, no do search queries and and uh, trying to funnel down the traffic to Amazon. So right off the bat, um, it almost seems like on a very first look, this the the design of the site looks too plain vanilla. Uh, it doesn't look exciting enough uh, as it should be. Uh, there's definitely like things missing like there's absolutely no formatting there's no bulleting there's no bolding of text there's uh, not much thought given to the subtitles which are probably the h2 and h3 tags yeah uh, there's no sort of interlinking going on between pages and um, okay so let's let's look at things in a little more detail uh, the home page looks okay to me um, in terms of the quantity of content but I'm not convinced with the quality and the layout issues and the internal LinkedIn structures. Um, so again, the quantity of text is fine, but the user experience is lacking for sure on this site. Uh, for example, okay, so let's look at what they have here. So it almost looks like they've got two categories here. One is like a review based um, keyword uh, a review based category so they're writing reviews and the other one is like more like advice so it looks like there are two categories uh, but and these are the posts inside each of the categories so uh, the slug structure ideally like if you look here this shows um, let's let's just go to one of the review posts uh, right here so on first hand I'd say this is fine in the sense, just just a slug structure, but, but definitely not uh, in terms of uh, there's definitely over optimization going on, and this is a big penguin issue right here because they've got they've got a keyword rich uh, partial match domain, uh, almost like exact match in for some keywords, uh, and then they're repeating the same keyword like again in in the title. So I'd be really really careful when I uh, when I make my post and actually. Um, you know, just put my H1s and my, my slugs for all my posts because it's already so rich in the keyword that the domain name that you need to be really careful, otherwise, you're going to get hit with uh, the penguin uh, on page over optimization uh, penalty, uh, which which is which is pretty severe right now. It's it's they're, they're, they're really cracking down on that. They have been for the past uh, three years or so, but it's just they've just gotten better at it. So looking at uh, the structure, so let, let's look at the two categories he's got here. Okay, so we have this category. So I would not put a category like this. I would not put something that said, definitely not. It's re It repeats for sure. Like, so the best and best and then alkaline water and then alkaline water is again here. So it's repeating. So this, this category by itself, this page is not going to rank and in fact, it's going to probably get the site's going to be hurt a lot it's it's this is not the right way to do it i would if i was doing it i would put something like this this is what i would do and that's what i would call my category just reviews and if the other one is advice i would call the other category just advice and then i'd put my post under that and it's okay if you want to structure he wants to structure it in such a way that if you go into any one of these posts, you're putting it at the root, which is fine. Uh, but you could also structure it like this, right? Like right this one. This this right here would work, of course. And then you cut down on the title slugs. In fact, um, so so we come back to that, and I may even consider like changing the domain name if it makes sense and it doesn't land me into any sort of over optimization because I don't for that it's. it's really going to hurt you and you're not going to have enough room to play around with the slugs and play around with the titles and you won't be able to go aggressive 
uh, with this kind of domain. But in some cases, it does help if you do it the right way. I mean, if you're if you're building your links the right way and you structure your site uh, in a particular manner and you make sure the silos and the, the internal link structure doesn't get you into any sort of penguin penalty, then then it's okay if you know what you're doing. But but the threshold is low. The threshold to make a mistake is low when you go for an exact match, uh, exact match or a partial match domain. Uh, it really gives you lesser room to play around uh, with things. Okay, so let's look at one of the internal pages. So this internal page, and again, I will tell you that this is not, yeah, so let's look at the slug and this. The image, again, it's just got one image here. There's no table of contents plugin. The number of words on this page looks less to me. Let's just see how many words he has here. Uh, 900 words is fine in some cases, but you got to look at the competition. And I did look at his competition, and the competition has a lot more words on the pages. Um, so you don't have any table of content structure also. It's just like, and it's very plain vanilla, pros, cons, you know, it's just like, Somebody's gone out there and just written the content and they've just done a quick cut page job and linked out to the Amazon pages, the products with the affiliate links. So there's no there's no masking of links also going on over here. So you're going to invite competition if you start ranking the site tomorrow. So I'd advise you to sort of use some sort of pretty pretty links pro pro or there are a bunch of other WordPress plugins that will allow you to mask your links. So your competition can snoop on you when you start ranking and you know you're just going to build up competition and invite interest okay so uh, coming back to this page the on-page factors just having one image doesn't cut it and i just want to check if this image is in fact unique or it's just been ripped off from somewhere else so um, we'll, we'll find out for that, I go to Google and I search by image. Okay. And we have, hmm, interesting, other sites showing up. You have Amazon and all the other sites are showing up. So definitely this image is not unique. And it's only sort of rich media on the page. So. Google's going to see that, and Google can recognize images, it can read them. Um, so you need to fix that for sure. You need to, I'm not sure how you do it, but you need to have original images, maybe increase the background and increase the resolution for sure. Um, I know you're trying to show a product image. If you have this product with you, then you take a photograph of the product. Uh, there are the methods also. You can go into YouTube and look for this image and sort of um, freeze the video at the frame shot you want to take and then take a gra grab that image and then use that uh you have just one, just one image so i'd i'd say at least have like four or five images and at least like 1500 words of content and you definitely need to start embedding some videos as well so into a video review on the product that would help you a lot better uh you you, you got to put in a lot more effort now uh, on the on-page factors because Google is looking at on-page a lot more than it did in the past and it's uh, so if, if a new site comes up and uh, say you build a new page it's going to rank you Google is going to put you there. you can rank with just content if your content is strong but the user experience is what demotes you so if you have good content uh, which means you have to put more images in this case and a lot more words uh, for each of the pages I did run a screaming frog check I'll come to that in a second, but uh, so Google will rank you with the content initially. It'll let you dance around. You'll, you'll experience something called the Google Dance. Your rankings will fluctuate, they'll, uh, and Google will see what kind of click-through rates you're getting, and then they'll look at the user experience and the bounce backs because they can track uh, user behavior using Chrome, and they do that. Uh, they've got a patent for that, so they're definitely going to track the user experience. And if you terminate the user search intent. Uh, in the sense that they go on to Amazon and um, they don't go back to Google and they start searching for your keyword again or they, or they, or they click on other links and you satisfy the user intent that, that that Google dance like reduces and you gradually gain your rankings. So you have to satisfy the user experience. And in this case, 
you're not even capturing and you don't even you don't have any exit pops uh, to capture emails neither do you have any sort of real contact contact us or some lead generation happening in the footer of all your pages you have it on the contact page but that's weak uh you, the about page if i'm not mistaken was empty and blank so that's a big uh, problem there google is going to see that your privacy policy looked okay i'd also put terms of service in here uh because google's looking at that uh, mm. so the you, your, your images are definitely not unique and that goes to, and that 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 also applies to your home page image the, the first image on your site on on your home page it's i did a reverse image lookup and this has been taken from somewhere else so so google knows that so you need to fix that as well i'd put a sign up i'd put a sign up option box on the sidebar so you can actually maybe get some queries and and google can read that and they sort of figure you are uh, sort of providing some kind of uh, user uh, termination uh, what in in this niche or in this type of site i'd put something like um, opt in now to get your discount or put up some kind of report that they need to opt into um <clears throat> instead of just taking them you know directly to amazon that also works i mean if they click to and go to amazon so they are sort of going forward and they're not going to be jumping back to the serps and if they go forward and they buy the product from amazon then not only do you get a commission but you also satisfy user queries uh you don't you reduce your bounce backs and um, this the search intent is met uh which improves your rankings okay so when i looked at screaming frog i got this kind of data and over here this tells me that the number of words is fine on your pages but uh again we need to work on the we need to work more on the layout and the structure i'll just talk about that uh, for a bit so definitely the number of words on the pages is fine but you they need to have proper formatting and um to understand like who, who uh, you, you you definitely need to understand who you're up against and who your competition is and in this case um it's let's look at uh, Let's go back to Google and so here. So, so firstly, you're up against some pretty like you have the big portals ranking there. Um, here's some of the big sites with tremendous amounts of uh, page and trust flow and domain authority ranking on top but it definitely i'm not saying like it's it's you can't break into this niche but look at the sites that are ranking this you're going to have a hard time if you want to rank for those keywords if you want to rank for these keywords so i i'd i definitely go after more long tail keywords initially and then try and go for the broader ones uh but what's interesting is that there is a site here but it it has age so it's got couple of years of age but it's doing really well it's it's getting it's ranking almost five and a half thousand keywords and uh i'm not sure about this factor so they, they're probably using pvns to rank and they're blocking uh majestic data from coming through which is why it's not showing up but this this site is definitely doing well uh and i want to take a look at that site so again you have the same site here ranking for two pages are ranking for the same keyword and then we have more general like portals with uh, review pages um let, let's look at the site because i think it this is i found this to be the number one competitor so mm, so they're blocking majestic for sure uh but look at the site look at the way it's structured it's beautiful it's it's done really well yeah uh, it's got a fantastic user experience people are going to the dwell time on this page is going to be really high people are going to actually uh stay on this page and they've got the table right up front which is which is interesting um because they could get onto the rich snippets this area which is position 0 i'd like to call it i'd like to call it position 0 
because and that's why they've done this because the minute they hit the top five for that keyword they're going to hit they're going to go up and they're going to uh, they're going to rank at position zero if they have a strong table and strong content which they do which apparently they do uh, uh, if you can if you see the way this this site is been laid out and compare it to this site right here uh, you can see the difference it's and the way they they're linking out to Wikipedia sites and not just Amazon uh, so they're having outbound links to authority sites and pages that are relevant to the niche and that helps a lot because Google sees that and Google likes that and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're linking internally to other pages as well so so he's going to yeah so right here so linking to an info page internally another authority site not just Wikipedia each time if you notice and then we've got another article on our client so they're passing juice down from the home page to this I'm, I'm guessing this is what they want to like focus on ranking and maybe a few others also top 10 benefits so and then they have a separate page for that so they've got it as a single post so their the home page is a single post yeah so that's good and it's got about how many page, almost 2000 words uh, so if you want to beat them, not only do you have to have better design and better content and layout, but you have to have more content. Even though you have a thousand words, you'll have to cross, overtake them and have a three thousand words. So. And then they've got the, here, so they mask the links. So they, they are saying, like, you know, you can buy it at Amazon, but look at the URL at the bottom. It's it's, it's a masked URL. They've used a uh, plugin like uh, Pretty Links Pro uh, affiliate masking uh, link, and I, I definitely advise you do that as well. Uh, I like this floating thing right here. It makes a lot of sense, and again, I'm guessing it's uh, click through. It's inviting the click and terminating the user intent, uh, which is going to get the site to get you know pushed higher it's not going to demote it anymore but if others are not able to terminate the intent those sites are not going to get uh, those sites are going to be demoted a little bit so while he's going to stick the others who are trying to uh, get uh, above him uh, that are trying to rank higher than him they're going to go up maybe they'll come near him but but because google doesn't see the termination they're going to like lose the rankings again so the google dance is not going to uh, solidify by giving them higher rankings, but it's they're going to dance a bit. Google's going to check the click through rates, they're going to check the uh, termination, and then they're going to push him back down saying, Hey, no, this site is not, is, doesn't have high quality. The dwell time was low, they couldn't push people onto Amazon and things like that. So, I mean, I'm, I know I'm on this site, but uh, I just want to compare it with your site because, uh, because. It'll, it'll give us some clues so so yeah so like i said look at the category structure here they've got if you look at the bottom left they've got um you know the benefits keyword they've got a category called solutions so they're not stuffing keyword stuffing here and then they've got info just information and they've got product reviews which just says product reviews so there's they've really siloed out the site in the best uh way that's possible okay so let's 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 look at some of let's look at the i know i'm trying to like um i i, I want to audit your site definitely i want to audit this site but but i need to see what the competition is doing as well and it's always good to do a side-by-side -side comparison because that helps you understand what a good site should look like and not only uh, we're not just critiquing the site but we're we're also at the same time uh, measuring it against something that's doing well already. So, so best countertop water filter review guide. So it definitely has no repeating keywords with the exact match domain or the partial match domain. Uh, you can see they've, they've really they've chosen the slugs in a clever manner. There's no like um, there's no repetition of uh, uh, there's no keyword stuff stuffing. Yeah, so look at this one that the title tag has reviews in it and a guide But look at the slug the slug doesn't have reviews and why does it why does it not have reviews because the The main domain has reviews and it's already passing a signal to Google saying this is an information site I'm going to be reviewing products. I'm going to be providing information. I'm going to be providing tips 
So Google knows that already. You don't need to put in your slug. That's going to land you. If you put it again, if you're going to repeat the same keywords in the slug, it's going to land you up in a penguin penalty. You can put it in the title a bit. Yeah, so they've done that. But it's not in the slug. And that's what's saving them. And that's what's getting them to rank. So just reviewing uh, the things. Yeah, so the site is too plain. There's no formatting. There's absolutely no italics. It looks like it's just done a cut and paste job. You've got a content writer to write the content. You come here and you just paste it and just put paragraph and nothing beyond. No inter internal linking from your uh, from your page uh, from your home page to your sub pages or from your sub pages to other sub pages or back to your home page. They're losing out on link juice. You're not passing any link juice down from the uh, pages that are built, getting all their internal links, uh, getting external links coming into the site. Which we look at that also. I'm going to do an off-page audit after this. But so you're you're not so even if you were getting backlinks, where's the juice? The juice is not going to pass around your pages. You're not telling Google what your main pages are. You just have these two links on top. That's it. Uh, there's no sub-menu structure even. Um, so it's it's and you're not even linking to those uh, those internal posts and pages. So. How are you going to pass link juice down from your site to the other pages that you want to rank? It's, it's going to be tough for you to rank in this way. So you're siloing. They call that silo structure. Your siloing is not done perfectly. So you have penguin issues, which with the over optimization, your images are failing in the uniqueness. We did that. I checked a few images that have been taken from other places. Other sites are ranking for those images. So Google definitely does not see your site as being the originator of those images. Uh, your content is unique. That's fine. I check the uniqueness of your content and that's unique and we do that by just taking any sort of text from here Any text just take the top text or take any paragraph and all I did was I did a search in Google for that um, Within quotes for that text and if because your site showed up it's um, On top your page showed up on top there. So that's that's that Content belongs to you, so thank goodness. Uh, the content is unique, so that's one big plus point. Um, but the content is not formatted properly. There's no rich media in it. The H2s are not proper. The H3s are not proper. There's no table of content uh, at the top of the page, which helps the navigation. You know, the Wikipedia style table of content, and that that's helping a lot of uh, a lot of sites rank nowadays. We are not doing any sort of internal linking or siloing. Your titles and your subtitles are failing the SEO, uh, uh, opt uh, the, uh, the, the optimization issues. You're not uh, writing your titles properly and you're not even using the proper slugs. And your H2s and H3s, they seem to be, some of them seem to be okay, but some of them don't. Like something like you just written the side effects. So I'd rather put in something like the side effects of XYZ. And link it to of having low alkalinity in the body or things like that, you know. So to talk about that article, you, you definitely need to put in these. Uh, you know, definitely put put in the LSI keywords, the latent semantic index keywords in your in your H2s and H3s, because that Google is looking at that, and that's one of the ways they they measure your on page. Okay, so then your about us and your terms of service. The pages were empty. You don't have a terms of service page, so definitely you fail in that. Your site needs a lot more visual appeal. The formatting, the bulleting, inserting more images, having more videos, even having a table like the other site had, like uh, you know the the competing site had. You need to improve that. Your socials. Your socials are. There's absolutely no point having these socials because when you they're empty. I went to these pages. I went to all the social pages. There was not a single tweet. There's no action. And Google is looking at it. Google needs to see action on your social. They're using social as a signal. I know maybe the topic is not an exciting enough topic, but you need to have uh, more action in the socials, even if minimal. Uh, you can't. This, this, this is going to hurt you if you're going to put up Facebook pages and YouTube channels and you're not going to have videos. You're not going to be having any you know you're not going to be tweeting about the topic you're not going to be uh, uh retweeting other people's content in the same topic there's i don't see any reason for having socials the social signals are going to be weak and google is looking at that i'm not saying go overboard with them and order like fake social signals but just have the basics at least 
if your niche this niche is a small niche it's not like a large niche so you don't need to have like a thousand followers and tweeting every day but maybe yeah maybe twice a month or twice a month it's going to help you uh i believe the search console for this site the search console was not uh present and you need to you definitely need to do that and the way i got that was that it's site colon and have the site so so you sort of need to i, I think i think you're not uh, uh attached uh, a search console account and i definitely would recommend that because that's going to give you more insights the amount of insights you get from your search console uh, they are priceless because that google looking at your site so you definitely need to attach um, you know your search console and go in there and see your see different things see see what kind of backlinks that google has discovered for your site see what kind of uh, rankings google is showing for your site and, and, and this search console gives you a hell of a lot of information and of course your webmaster tools your your and sorry your and google analytics as well will give you your bounce rates and your dwell times and the user navigation through your site so your okay so also your call to action and your conversion is absent you have no forms you have no exit pops you don't have any sort of a conversion like an opt in conversion you just have that amazon click through which is fine uh but i would say put something in the footer which may have the person opt in and um okay so this was the other site so you can see they have their affiliate disclosure page they have the terms of use use page so these two pages would you definitely need to have these like i i suggested before the affiliate disclosure because this is an affiliate site so google is going to sense that and you don't have that i didn't notice that before but looking at it on the competing site you need to have one okay so coming back to so i already spoke about the siloing of your site and the way you're over optimizing your over optimization issues by having best repeating in your domain as well as in your slug and then alkaline and alkaline again and then water and then water machine again and reviews and reviews i mean that your category is completely like not structured it should be something like this just just have your domain name published as reviews right and when you're talking about uh, and, in, and then your post can come inside that or it can exist in the root that doesn't really matter that, that much and then your advice page or your info page can be your site name.compo/advice that's it just leave your category slug like that and if you can't remove the category you can put it can by all means be something like that that by all means but there are ways to get just get this category slug out there are plugins to do that I'm not sure wordpress can do it natively but there are plugins to take that slug out itself and just putting advice i think yeah i think it you can do that who comes it may be difficult but in just plain vanilla wordpress it's possible okay so now with that done uh, i'm going to get on to your uh, uh, pretty much analyze your site and i told you what kind of issues you have um your content is the, the number of words and everything looks okay you just need to restructure things for sure you need to add more media you need to format this in a better way you need to include some plugins and things like table term table of content and things like that um otherwise it's maybe have a few more pages and uh, otherwise from an on page perspective you can you're pretty much i mean you're about 20% of the way there because your content is is good but you just not formatted it properly and neither have you structured your site properly neither have you interlinked the pages so those are the lacking issues and that's going to take you a lot of work so uh, you should get an seo expert to like fix all those things for you and it uh, that that itself will do magic to your site okay with that said let's get on to the the off page audit which is uh, let's look at the link audit for next and then we'll look at uh things like page speed test which it looks okay over here it just looks like your site is it's pretty decent as far as your page speed goes and it is mobile friendly and um so so with that said let's get on to the um, the link uh, the link
Okay, so I'm going to use Ahrefs, which is a backlink audit tool, and um, we're going to just kind of try and look at the, uh, as long as you're not building PBNs or you've not blocked Ahrefs, we can actually spy on your backlink profile and things like that, and I'm guessing you haven't. So, you have 400 backlinks coming from 42 domains, which looks okay, but uh, unless, like, you've got a... Uh, too many coming from you know uh, many domains are giving you many links uh, I'd, I'd want to like look at this a little more detail um, your link with velocity uh, yeah, the referring domains right here let's this this is what shocked me uh, so for the past year or so the number of domains that are giving you your your links right here the number of pages are going up but the number of domains are staying this are staying at 42, which means you're building the same links on the same domains again and again and again and again, which is not going to help you rank. It's not going to work. You it get you somewhere, but it's not definitely not going to get you beyond a point. So we, and which is why I guess your rankings are stuck like on page five and six. And no matter how many more links you build on the same sites, it's not going to help you. It's not going to help with your rankings at all. Uh, um let's look at i'm going to look at the kind of i i really want to look at the, the domains that you're getting your links from but but at the same time i want to look at your anchor cloud right here it almost looks like you're using a lot of um url anchors and then you've got 31 percent of your links are just from this one keyword so which is a which is a no query like when people want to know about something but and that's what you want your site to rank for for information based queries so it almost looks like an exact match queries that that looks like an over optimization issue right there uh, and that's what penguin penguin's going to eat you up if you cross a particular threshold they're going to it's going to say it's going to automatically detect that you're, you're trying to do seo and it's, it's not going to move your site yeah I don't see any generic anchors like click here, visit the website, neither do I see any anchors with just the word alkaline or just the word water machines or just, you know, with the left right keyword technique, which I'll get into later, uh, but which is uh, pretty popular nowadays. Um, this is fine, Jenny. Yeah, okay, because that's a user profile uh, sort of link, but then I'd like to see a lot more uh, like that. And I'd, I'd like to see some a lot more image links also. Maybe there are a few, but so so that's what your your diversification of your anchors is not natural, and that's going to hurt your rankings. And I'm not sure what kind of um, yeah. So your link velocity also looks like it's just like picking up suddenly. You just like gone ahead and just like built some spammy links. I'm guessing the spam links will. Um, let's 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 look at let's look at your backlinks, and I want to look at the domains also. So this is all links. So yeah, so these are definitely all these are these are all Web 2.0 sites, which are open for anyone to post links on. They are very generic sites. They're not even specific. To your industry or to your niche and that's relevancy that's called relevancy and Google's looking at that so even though you create a relevant blog post or a, a, a web 2.0 account on a on, on a site and you, you put your keyword in there Google knows that this the site blogspot is an open site anyone can go there and just get a link and build it so they're just they're not going to give you much uh, uh, they're not going to give you much weightage for that I'm sorry about the, the work that's going on in the background, but uh, hopefully this the, it doesn't disrupt your train of thought here. Okay, so I've looked at all these. These are all, gen, they're all Web 2.0 sites. And you have, I would build a few of them by all means, like do a few, like just in your niche, maybe do about five or six, but you've gone overboard with it. And you're not doing any sort of outreach, and you're not getting any. You're not getting links on 
specific sites and relevant sites. They could be private blog networks. They could be actual real sites. But you need to get those relevant links, and you're 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 lacking that, and that's not helping you, and it's not going to get you to rank. Uh, just building Web 2.0. There's there some of these that are blog comments also. Many of them. I'm guessing those are the ones with your name, Jenny. Or these are these are blog comments. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This looks like a blog comment link. Your yeah, comment system. It says it right here. Yeah, and here's the CMS, which tells you that these are all Web 2.0 sites. And uh, so 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 definitely. And then you're losing links also, right? So so when you post a blog comment. And the blog comment gets removed after it gets spidered by Google. Google the Google bot comes back in say 10 days and and your comment link is gone because it was spam and the so the moderator took the link off. Google's gonna see that as a link drop and it's gonna flag you for that. And you get too many link drops, it's gonna know you're you're doing hey, there's something fishy going on here. And so that's another big ranking signal. You gotta be careful of that. Okay, so um, your anchors were not natural looking enough. The backlink profile looks like you've got too many links coming from these are all web 2.0 sites and uh, they're not even like PBNs. Maybe you bought some PBN links, I don't know, but I'm guessing um, if you did, then they are blocking HREFs or not. Uh, that's an advanced uh, uh, topic and an explanation. Don't want to get into that right now, but looks like you've got a lot of com comment links and just the same links repeating from the same site. It's not going to help you rank. It's not going to pass much link juice. And that's the reason why you're getting at almost zero search engine traffic. You're, you're stuck on page. Uh, if you go back to your back end profile, let's see the organic keywords, the keywords that you're actually ranking for. Um, I like Ahrefs a lot because it gives you a lot of information, but I do use it with Majestic also and SEMrush. But for this video, we just need use Ahrefs. So, uh, coming back, so you're ranking for these keywords, and here's your position. Yeah, you're on page two and three and four and five, and just looks like you're just stuck there uh, because it's it's not you're not going to budge with the kind of links you're building. You're not going to budge. So you need to fix your on-page SEO, get a solid on-page SEO, and then start doing some more relevant links because you've got a lot of web 2.0, and then use uh, diversified anchors as well. Okay, so with that said, uh, that concludes my off-page audit, and I'll see you in the next video. So let's do a quick... Um, competition audit uh, for the keywords you want to rank for. So I'm taking the first one and as you can see there are some of these we have these are the ads we can ignore that but we've got these portals ranking for these for this information query and like that's a 19 year old site with tons of authority and trust and you know a ton of links so they're going to rank really easily when they when they throw out this page that they want to rank for um then they've got huffington post and you've got this site which has got nine years old site um ranking for 8,000 keywords already um, then you've got this site, which again is a 16 year old site, but you have this site, which is a two year old site, but it's, it's highly niche specific. So it's exactly, I'm guessing exactly what we're trying to do, but they're only two years old, but the content is really solid. And I'm guessing the links are also pretty decent. So, but they've got amazing content and I'm pretty sure that they're ranking high based on uh, primarily the ranking where they are based on really solid, solid content and internal linking and the way they structured their site and designed it and uh, interlink the pages, set up the silos. And then you've got this other site which is 12 years old and then you've got, okay, so you do have a site which is 
two years old again. But it, mm, ranking for 1300 keywords. So this would be one I would also look at. These are old established sites again that are just throwing up pages and ranking for those keywords because Google has seen the trust already. So yeah, so there are gaps on page one for that keyword, but but there are um, there are opportunities as well because there are some sites which are a couple of years uh, old that have just popped in and we'll definitely look at let's look at the backlink profile so we're back in ahrefs and this time with the competitors site and we've got a 166 backlink from 47 site which looks fine but they're ranking for 7000 keywords and i guess they're doing really well over here we'll look at that but look at this the number of recurring domain going up steadily and the backlinks are also going up but at the same time so are these so it's not just the same sites that keep building links from and their anchor ratio, they, the anchors cloud looks pretty good to me. Uh, it's very, it's diversified. It's got the natural things. It could diversify a lot more. But uh, all in all, it looks, they, they have stuffed it a little bit, but I think it's it's pretty much, I'd say about it's not the best, but it's not going to trigger any sort of uh, penalty as far as I can see. So they do have, uh, you know they've got the diversification and the natural links and uh i'd say not i mean what they could tone down in was like when when there's an anchor phrase with so many keywords in it i'd not try and have it in more than one or two uh links because the the chances of having a large number of keywords on the same uh anchor naturally is very low the so the probability the probability is low so the more keywords you have in the anchor link try not to repeat it uh, you know that often so I'd, I'd, if i would if i were building the links i'd do something like best alpha and just one with water machine reviews then one with alkaline guide you know I'd, and, and try and mix and match the keywords they were trying to rank for and just and then i'd have maybe one with the entire anchor Okay, so let's let's look at their the actual backlinks now. Okay, so it looks like they've got a fair amount of links coming from reference. So like sites which have Q and A sites looks like there's ask, there's a reference, there's similar web. I wouldn't really count that. Mm. Another blog, a news site, maybe a PBN link. Hmm, interesting. They, I wouldn't be surprised if they're ranking with PBN links and they like block the Ahrefs bot so the data doesn't show up. Let's look at one link per domain to actually catch what the domains are. And okay, so. This one. Let's copy this one. Hmm. So this is SA Water Filter. So this looks like uh, a relevant site. It's a highly re relevant site, um, and it's pushing a link, a homepage link, uh, to their site. Um, it almost looks like this is a PBN site, but it looks like a repurposed site. Uh, so someone lost, uh, someone bought the site as an expired domain, repurposed the content, and they've given the links to, and they've dropped the link to them. So they, it looks like, it looks like another info site with content and they just dropped the link. So this definitely looks like a private blog network site, uh, which has been purchased from an expired domain or an auction domain. But um, I like the fact that they're trying to make it look real. So Google looks at 
looks at the site like a relevant site with with real content on it in the same niche and uh, when they uh, so they've got a link from the site i'm not sure whether they own the site or they purchased a link from somebody else but it's definitely a relevant link so so that's going to give them a lot of uh, topical relevancy which is going to help them rank a lot more which is something i would say the site you're auditing needs more of uh, again let's look at this one right here let's look at this page 